Hello, Logi Vigi. So today I'm, I'm going to show you a new rebonic method. I'm not sure that maybe I'm not the first one, but at least uh, as far as I know, I never seen it. So this might be this might be help, helpful. Uh, so this is just PMU, so power management uh, I see for the M1 CPU. This one is, I find it rather hard to rebound with normal method. So after I failed a few times, I failed miserably. I just wanted to try something new and this was so much better than our normal hot air method. So what's uh, what do we need is this is um, just a universal template because there are no templates for this type of chip yet. Uh, there, there's one, but I don't have it yet. I have already ordered it. So um, the second thing you will really need is uh, Miniware MHP30. So it's already turned it on and hello camera. Yeah, it takes a little bit. Okay. So yep. So it's already preheated to the 220 degrees. Uh, this thing actually has some sort of the sensor, so if I rotate it, it turns itself off. So very nice piece of sync, it has a nice design, I, I really like it. I never really used it before, because I simply bought it, it, it looked nice, but I didn't find any good use for it. But recently I figured that uh, you can use it for many things, like uh, for example, flex cables, uh, desoldering plastic buttons or connectors on MacBook motherboard without hitting all the motherboard. It's simply hidden from the backside and it's and you're good to go. So uh, let me show the whole technique. This is so let's place this tensile. Let's check. So So this tension doesn't really perfectly match the, the the chip. I don't know why, but it's simple the way it is. So now I am just applying the normal soldering paste. This is mechanic uh, the just sixty three. 37 so let's put it on chip it's not red right it's just normal mechanic paste the one which usually uh, should be dried a little bit because it's it will bubble but we don't need it we don't really need it with my technique you don't really need to pre-dry this thing can be oily, it's not a problem at all. You will see why. So now let's simply clean it. This is just normal wipe. And uh, now so I'm gonna do I'm gonna simply put this thing on the chip. I'm gonna push a little bit just like that. And it's ready. That's it. So no hot air needed, nothing. And after I remove the stencil, so don't forget to clean your stencils as they are hot because if uh, the wax will be sticky, it will be much harder to clean. So 
So I'm trying to clean uh, flux just at the moment I did it. So, and like see the balls. As you may see, these balls are perfectly shaped. There are no missing balls, there is nothing fancy going on. You can obviously uh, heat it a little bit with hot air just to form them, but I like them this way because they will be a little bit higher. So. And also. It might worth putting it on the sandpaper a little bit. So just sanding it a little bit so you have uh, like the flat surface on the balls. So, so you can actually put it on board and uh, it will kind of be absolutely flat and it will mm, go much smoother as you solder it on the board. So that's it. But that's the whole technique. You just put the soldering paste and you just take this little thing and you just push it like stamp so and don't forget to clean it as well this is just my surface and yep 